So hello and welcome to this video on the very early prototype Raven from BirdKit. Let's check out a bit of what's to come in the video before we get into it. I was really excited when I saw Raven announced and I was talking to Mike about it just before the Kickstarter went live. And immediately I wanted to get involved because the Batilia system, I'll make sure to put a picture in and I'll link to some demos of that below as well, is fantastic. It sounds stunning as a subtractive voice, really does kind of shine as something special. So I knew that Raven would be good. This very early prototype is already sounding good. There's obviously some tweaks to do. It's an early prototype, it's not a final unit. So I will make some more content with final units in more detail, going in deeper later on. But go click on the link once this video is done for Kickstarter. I really want a final unit. So I do have a vested interest in that I wanna see this succeed. But let me just quickly go through Raven and we'll get into some patches. Now Raven is a two oscillator device. We've got the Volt Pro Active Input, FM and sync as you'd expect. We've then got the triangle waveform. It really pushes out low end quite nicely. Pulse. And ramp and saw waves. We have tuning controls to offset the second oscillator against the first, a blendable mix between one and two, the FM control, have an onboard VCA and two VCA options, a nice modern high quality that VCA chip design that is the clean output and then the opto output is an early Buchla 100 series style design that's got more kind of non-linearities to it, a bit more character so it's nice to have both options on the board. The filter will work normally in subtractive mode and we've got both a volt per octave input and also a normal CV input and attenuator, resonance and cutoff as you'd expect. We can bypass it on that switch and route any signal separate to the oscillators and VCA through it and just use it as a standalone filter or we can use it with bypass and track and get the resonance up and this becomes a great sine wave oscillator. You could patch that back into itself for great FM, sync or even audio rate PWM tones. So that's just a quick rundown of what this is. It's already sounding really good. So here's a couple of different patches with the unit. And I'll just show these briefly and kind of every day after this video, I'll put these full patches up. So in this first patch with this prototype Raven, I just wanted to get something really snappy, transient and kind of rich in a higher register just to get these distorted drums pushing through. I'm cross modulating the PWM with both oscillators patched into each other's PWM to get some interesting effects. So the second patch is just a simple drone with some reverb added afterwards. I was just firing in triggers and random modulation just to modulate different things on the oscillator and filter just to see how it responded. So this third patch is a typical detune unison type dual oscillator melodic line. I'm modulating the pulse width modulation from two different LFOs to the two different oscillators to get a really rich kind of beating sound. And then there's a bit of mixed modulation into the filter as well. So this fourth prototype patch I thought was an interesting one. It's a cross mod like effect where one oscillator modulates the FM of the other one, but then that modulated oscillator modulates the FM of the original one, creating this feedback loop of FM. This is being modulated by an envelope that has its decay and attack time modulated, 
to create this kind of swirling, moving effect. When with the filter in bypass mode, I brought the sound back in and filtered it before it hit a reverb. So by making that filter quite resonant and modulating that with an LFO, we get these kind of sing-song harmonics hitting the reverb chain from just a clean waveform, whereas those FM tones are kind of patched out and up front in the mix. So this fifth patch with the prototype is really just a simple tonal exploration. Single oscillator into the filter, nice little sequence going on, and just playing around with those oscillator tones and filter tones. So the sixth patch uses the oscillators as one voice and the tracking oscillating filter as another and I'm letting those amplitude modulate each other for some AM synthesis. So the filter's amplitude is controlled by the oscillators and the oscillator's amplitude is controlled by the filter in this little VCA mixer. It creates some nice interesting overtones that's quite different to say FM. <laughs> 